guys, so today I want to talk about something a little bit different to my usual channel content and that is Ring Fit Adventure. Nintendo very kindly sent me out this game to review for you guys on my channel so a big thank you to Nintendo for this opportunity. For those of you who don't know, Ring Fit Adventure is a brand new fitness game for the Nintendo Switch. But it's not your average fitness style game. There is, as it says, an adventure involved as well. I'm trying my best to explain what kind of a game this is and I'm really struggling. So not only is it an adventure game, but there's also fitness involved and the better you do at exercise, the better you do in the game, I guess. This has been out for a few days now and I've been staying away from reviews. The only trailers I've seen are the original announcement trailer and the 10 minute overview trailer. But as you can see, it's a big, big box. So I am going to open it up and see what's inside. Oh, first thing I see, you only get one body, take, you can't see that. <laughs> you only get one body, take care of it. I agree. Open it up. The first thing I see here is the game. That would help. So I'll pop that to the side and obviously wouldn't be Ring Fit Adventure without the ring. Okay, so we take this out of the plastic. Wow, okay. So you put one of the Joy-Cons on there, as you can see. So it slides in there like that the the band i was when i saw the trailers online i thought the band was a bit thought, oh man is that gonna break but you know what it's really durable and you got these uh hand grips on the side as well they are attached by velcro so you can take them off for cleaning which is really good if you get sweaty working out right, and also the other piece of equipment you need to play the game is this leg strap like so and there is the band to wrap around your leg which is also velcro like so i've got my switch here to pop them in the leg strap and the ring accessory so i can show you you just slide just slide it in there like so that is not going to be falling out very easy at all. And then with this Joy-Con, you will slide it into this bit. And then so you can see it's plus plus. So you know you've got the right one in there. From the trailer, I was a little nervous about how durable this ring would be. But after having it in my hands right now, I think is going to be fine. There's nothing else for me to show you in the box so all that is left is for me to play the game. I'll be turning off the camera here and I'll get back to you in about a week after I've had a good play session with it over time and I'll let you know how I get on. So I've been playing Ring Fit Adventure now for just over a week and I must say I'm very impressed. When you first turn on the game it will ask you a few questions about yourself. This is so that it knows the range of your ability and so that it doesn't push you too hard. I can't stress this enough but you really should be honest with the questions. There's no point saying that you exercise all the time because it will just set you at a really hard difficulty level and you'll end up pushing yourself way too hard and probably end up hurting yourself. On the other hand, if you have misjudged the difficulty level for yourself, the game will ask you several times over your playtime every day if you'd like to change to make it more challenging or a bit easier for you. So if you can bring yourself to move past the intro screen where you can see the ring con and leg attachment moving about to your movements, I have spent longer on the title screen than I am willing to admit. Ring Fit Adventure is split into sections. There's the adventure mode, quick play, custom and multitask mode. Of course I jumped straight into adventure mode and the best way I can explain it, it's like an RPG but you're a character fighting monsters using your body. Along with your friend Ring, 
maybe they could have thought of a better name. You go on a quest to beat the dragon, Dragox, Drago, Dra I'm gonna go with Drago. The adventure is split up into worlds and within the worlds there are little separate areas. A typical level will see you jogging through an area. Admittedly, at the point of the game that I'm at quite early on, a lot of the landscapes look very similar, but I'm guessing as I progress through the game they're gonna look a little bit different. They're at least different enough so that it feels sort of new and there's lots to look at within the level. For example, I took this screenshot because it's actually quite beautiful and relaxing. Eventually you will end up battling a monster or two, collecting coins, ingredients, and depending on how well you do, you will earn experience. And the more experience you get, the higher your level will grow. Level increases can unlock new exercise moves to use in battle, as well as upping your stats, which means you'll be able to do more damage and take more damage. The monster battles have a very RPG feeling about the battle. Some monsters are colour coded and it's up to you to choose the right colour coded exercise to defeat the enemy. Generally speaking, the harder the exercise, the more damage it will do. You can only set a handful of exercises at a time, but as you learn new ones, you can switch and swap them out. Personally, I like a bit of a challenge, so when I'm against a monster that would be weak to a red move, instead of going straight to using my red exercises, sometimes I just leave it on shuffle, that will make me do exercises that I don't really want to do. That said, if you are thinking of cheating and doing the same exercise that you're good at over and over again, there are cooldowns involved, so you can't do that. So if you're using a move that is strong against a monster and you can take it down quite quickly, unfortunately you're not doing many other exercises so you won't gain maybe as much experience. So it's definitely worth thinking about your battles very carefully. If you like collecting things, Ring Fit Adventure has you covered. As you progress through the game, you can unlock new clothing items to wear, which will increase your stats for when in monster battles. There's also ingredients and smoothies. Everything you buy gets logged in one big catalogue. I'm still quite early in the game, so the size of the catalogue is very daunting and it looks like I have a lot to collect on the rest of my adventure. As you progress through adventure mode, you may have to replay levels a few times to defeat the boss at the end or collect the ingredients you need to make smoothies to gain health in a boss battle, which is a bit annoying, but it it is also a bit challenging and it makes you think, but I hate replaying and grinding levels, but it does make things last a bit longer, so I can't be that mad. Just when you think the Nintendo Switch technology couldn't get any more random and weird, at the end of levels it will ask you if you would like to measure your pulse. You can do this by placing your thumb over the Joy-Con sensor. The game is as easy or hard as you want it to be. You can keep it at a low pace and not strenuous or really challenge yourself. You can pick exercises that you're really comfortable doing within your ability or exercises that will really push you. So really the difficulty is in your hands and it is what you make of it. The one thing to remember while playing this game is don't push yourself too hard, drink plenty of water and know your limits. Remember it's a marathon not a sprint, you may be only able to play this game for 15 minutes like a couple stages at a time and that is absolutely fine. If you're competitive there is a leaderboard in Ring Fit Adventure. The leaderboard you can see how you're doing amongst your Nintendo Switch friends and even worldwide. Away from the adventure there are the mini games. There are 12 mini games in total each saying that they will work out different areas of the body. The mini games have two difficulty options, novice and advanced, and there are also leaderboards so you can keep track of your score other people using the same Nintendo Switch can try and beat your score and you can also try and beat your friend's scores. Practicing the mini games could be beneficial as they do appear in the main Ring Fit Adventure Adventure Mode. Getting a certain score on the mini game within Adventure Mode can get you certain items and bonuses and coins. 
Next, if you just want to work on improving certain areas of your body, you can custom create a list of exercises that works for you. The exercises are split up by categories, so you can choose the exercises that you want to do and make a truly personalised experience. And if that's not all, there is multitask mode. With no screens, you can just use the Rincon accessory to exercise while you're doing other things. The Rincon will log your progress and when you're back into playing Ring Fit Adventure, it will send your progress back to the game and you'll earn experience. I've been playing Ring Fit Adventure for over a week now and I feel pretty great. I didn't exercise much before playing the game, so for me, at the moment my main target with the game is just to build up stamina and after a week i am playing the game for longer at a time longer play sessions some of the exercises i really didn't like when i first started but i've stuck at it and i'm doing better at them and i'm not worn out as quickly. Also on a personal level I'm a type 1 diabetic and I can see a drastic improvement in my blood sugar levels. But yeah as for downsides other than the environments maybe needing to be a little bit more interesting although they are really beautiful they do feel a little bit samey. My other problem is the Rincon sometimes is a little bit inaccurate but Rincon can be calibrated again quite easily. But on the other hand, it might not have been a Rincon problem. It was probably just me not doing the exercise correctly. I've only been trying the mini games in novice mode. I'm not that crazy to go for advanced mode yet. So I can't quite comment on that. But I do think the mini games are quite fun. I think the pottery one is really quite difficult to master. I'm really struggling doing the squatting and the ring con thing to make the pot. So uh, that's definitely a mini game I've got to work on. My personal favourite is Robo Wrecker. Even on Novice, I'm finding that quite challenging. I can't really comment on the personal custom workout thing as that's not really part of the game that interests me but I can see how it's a very valuable thing for people that do want to just focus on certain areas of the body. So is Ring Fit Adventure worth it? Yeah, I've got to say, I am really, really impressed. Overall, I found the Ring Con accessory very durable. I've seen a lot of comments online and personally, when I saw the first trailers, I was like, that thing looks like it's going to break, but the plastic's very thick and I feel that it, it will last a really, really long time. Adventure mode is surprisingly well thought out and I feel it's a very Nintendo way of doing things and I love that. You work out and you have fun in the process and it educates you in health on the way and honestly, that's great. This may sound super cheesy, but it's not the in-game character getting stronger, it's you. As you play and do all these exercises, sure, your in-game character is earning experience, but you as a person are gaining those real benefits by doing those exercises. If you don't exercise much and want to get into a routine every day of working out and doing so in the comfort of your own home, then 100% I think this is a perfect game for that. If you are someone that exercises often and goes to the gym, I still think you would find Ring Fit Adventure fun. The game does get quite challenging, but from someone who doesn't really know exercise and doesn't go to the gym, I can't really give that point of view. Just that it's fun and hopefully you'd still enjoy it. It may not be super strenuous for you, but it's still great fun. But overall, yes, I think Ring Fit Adventure is really great fun. And if you're in the right mindset and you use it as part of a daily workout routine, I really do think you could see some benefits. And I know personally, I'm going to be playing this for a long time. Let me know in the comments what you think of Ring Fit Adventure. And if you're already playing it, how are you getting on? I'd love to know. Again, a big thank you to Nintendo for sending me out Ring Fit Adventure for this review. As always, leave a like if you have liked this video, share with your friends, and if you haven't already, press the subscribe button for more videos. And I'll see you guys next time.